in part 7 of Behringer's UFX 1604 mixer, audio interface and digital recorder, we're going to look at the main output and the control room audio source multiple selection options. If you haven't watched the previous videos on this series, I will leave the link in the description and I would highly recommend you watch them as they include lots of details about the mixer. You will find this multiple audio source selection to the main mix as well as the control room and the headphone output on the mixer right next to the LED level displays. There are two columns of buttons. The one on the right hand side, which are four of them, as indicated, are the selection to the main mix and the one on the left are the selection of audio sources to the control room and the headphone output. We can select one or all of the buttons at the same time. We have CD tape input, which are the RCA line level inputs. Then we have the alternate 3 and 4 outputs, which are internally routed to the same outputs as the alternate 3 and 4. Then we have audio return from your digital audio workstation, outputs 1 and 2, 3 and 4, respectively. These audio sources feed directly into the main mix pre-fader. Since they don't have any volume control, you need to watch out for their input levels and you need to control their volume from the respective audio source. If you are using, let's say, a CD player, you need to control the volume from the CD player. Or if you are using a smartphone to feed an audio, you need to control the volume from the smartphone. The alternate 3 and 4 outputs are the audio coming when you press the mute button on each of your channels. This mutes and redirects the channel's output instead of going to the main mix, but into the alternate 3 4 output, which internally can be routed back into the main mix or into your control room and headphones. This may sound counterintuitive to mute a channel and then only to feed it back to the main mix, but the, this additional audio routing can give you additional flexibility to route audio however you like. The column of buttons on the left, as I mentioned earlier, feed into the control room output. The control room outputs are located on your mixer. Usually, your speakers are connected into the control room output. This allows you to have a separate speakers that you listen to in your control room, which are different from the front of house main outputs. Same as the audio sources for the main mix output, we have the CD tape, alternate 3 and 4, your digital audio workstation outputs 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. An additional button at the top which says main mix allows you to send the main mix fader output post fader into your control room. So you can have a listen in your control room the audio that is going out to the front of house speakers, the main outputs. Again, you can select multiple audio sources to feed into your control room and the headphone output. The control room has its own independent volume to adjust the level that's going out of the control room into your monitor speakers, as well as independent headphone level goes into the two headphone outputs. Now, we do have the option to use channels 13 and 14, 15 and 16 as our return audio from our digital audio workstation by pressing the buttons line or FW1 and 2 and FW3 and 4. But by pressing the FW1 and 2 and FW3 and 4 either on our control room or our main mix, we can feed those two channels from our digital audio workstation directly to our main mix or into your, our control room and headphones, thus saving us additional two channels on our mixer. Of course, the difference would be if we feed them into our channels, then we have not only a volume control using our faders as well as, as EQ, with directly selecting them, we don't have that option. So we have to make sure that the output level from our digital audio workstation feeding directly into our control room or our main mix is at appropriate level. 
Well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.